Today we're going to look at building a progress nav bar that we can add to any landing page. It tells us which section we're on when we scroll down and we can click to a specific section to go straight there. And the design is super flexible. If we want, we can give it rounded corners and bring it up from the bottom. We can put it at the top of the screen or we can even design it up the screen rather than along the screen. So let's not waste any time. Let's look at how we can build and add this thing. Okay, so we can build one of these on any page that we want, but it works best for a single page website or a landing page where each of the links on our nav go to a specific section on the page rather than to its own page. So we're going to build this as a fixed element at the bottom of the screen on our new website. I'm going to start by just adding a regular div and this is going to be fixed to the bottom of the viewport. It's going to be right at the bottom. Let's give it a height of 120 for now. It's probably a bit much, maybe 80. I'm just going to call this progress bar wrap. It's going to be a hundred percent width and let's make sure we can see it for now. I'm just going to color it a soft gray, make sure it has a Z index so we can actually see it. And then lastly, just change the display to flex so that all of the items, all of the sections are going to be sitting next to each other on the nav. So let's bring in some blocks that are going to be the different sections that we're actually uh, linking to on the page. For now, we'll just do a basic one. So we're just going to make this a link block. We'll just call this progress nav item. And I'm going to fully do one before I copy it out for all of the sections. So we'll add a piece of text for the number and also for the name of the section. I'm just going to make this number one, copy paste that, and it's going to be a boot. And we're going to actually align this flex. So they're next to each other sitting in the center of that div. We're going to give it a bit of a gap. And we'll give it a little bit of padding though. Uh, once we actually add all of them, we're going to use the width anyway. So let's just do a little bit of padding just so we can see our block element. And that's fine for now. I'm just going to give these some names so that we can style them individually if we want to. Progress nav text. And the number. We're going to make the number a bit smaller. We're going to make it maybe 13, make it bold. And then let's do the little circle around that. Let's give it a border, the big old radius. And we're actually going to size this element. It's going to be 20 by 20 and then give this border a little bit of a lighter radius. It's just going to be 10%, maybe 20% for now. Okay, so we have our first block. Let me just copy, paste, 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 paste that five times for all of our sections. And I'm gonna give it a current state. So when you're in that section, it's gonna look slightly different. So I'm gonna go down to when we're in about. Let's make sure we're actually linking to about. And when I re-click on this item, it's now current. And so I'm gonna change how the state looks for current. We can change the whole block if we want to. It can be blue with white, make it really clear. And then if I want, I can ease the transition. It's already looking pretty good. It might just need uh, background changed. So we're adding a transition for the background color so that it comes in smooth, just like that. Since we have five items, we're gonna make it 20% width. So that way it fills up the nav div perfectly. And now that I'm seeing it, it is way too tall. Let's make it about 50. And now let's add in all of the right numbers and sections like magic. And my F key on my keyboard is currently broken, which is why some of them are spelt wrong. But now that we have it all set up and we're even linking each section so that it highlights when we're actually in that section, we're pretty much done for our super simple version of our progress bar. But now we're gonna add in a bar that actually shows you where along the page that you're at as you go down. So I'm going to go back into my wrap. I'm going to add another div. This is going to be our kind of background color wrapper. So I'll make it absolute and it's going to be 0% width when it's none of the way down the page and 100% width when it's way at the bottom. Let's just make it 20% now so we can actually see it. Make sure it's 100% height. And this is our progress nav color or color for you Americans. So let's give it a bit of a color. I'm just gonna make it black, but it's only gonna be 5% maybe, just so we can kind of make it out in the background. 
And now we're gonna add a interaction to actually track that progress. It's gonna be uh, while the page is scrolling, move the bar. And so we'll click on our color bar just here at 0%. The size of it is going to be 0% width. And at the end, it's gonna be 100% width. And we can turn live preview on. Let's get rid of that so we can actually see it. And it's starting to work. There's still some stuff to do, but it is just starting to work. Firstly, we're gonna smooth that movement. So I'm just gonna hit done and I'm gonna make the smoothing about 90, I quite like, let's just test that. And so that's taking it from a hard movement to a kind of a fade into that movement. So it just gently eases in to that section that we're talking about. Now, though we have this working, we do have some Z index problems here. So even though I can click here and it will go here, because our box is sitting over our links, I now can't click on the previous links. So what we're gonna do to try and get around this is maybe to change our design slightly. Firstly, I'm gonna put the actual progress nav bar uh, below these links rather than above them. Let's go to the nav color. I'm gonna make the Z index one for the nav color and for each nav item, it's gonna be two. And that way the color is sitting below the items, but that means that we can't actually see that progress once the item is in view. So I'm gonna change the current state a little bit like we've done here, it's gonna be a soft state rather than a quite a wild uh, change. So I'm gonna go back to a section where we have it current. I'm gonna take away our background color, take away our type color. Let's make our type color blue. And we're gonna make our background color a white, but not a crazy white, just more of like a light white to show that it's currently the active section. So as we scroll down, we can see the sections lighting up and also still see that bar that's showing us our progress. Now, the last thing that we wanna fix here is because all of the sections are different heights, the bar isn't perfectly lining up with when the sections start and finish. So if each section down the page was 100% viewport height, then this wouldn't be a problem, but that isn't the case, so this is a problem. So let's fix this. Before we do that, I've just restyled a couple of the elements so that frankly, it looks less ugly. Uh, now that we've done that, we're gonna go back into our animation and just tweak the areas where the sexual uh, color lines up with each section. So let's start by going to the very end and I'm just gonna actually move the, I'm just gonna actually move the progress of this section to line up with the end of the kind of current state. So here we can see the sections in current. I'm just gonna move that to 95. So I've made it line up so it ends at the end of that current state. And then working backwards, we wanna to go to the kind of next section where the state changes. So here, just about there. And I'm just gonna add in uh, a new width when it actually hits that section. So it's about 72 or 73, I guess. And we'll make that 80% of the bar since we have five elements. And so that when it hits the end of that section, it's gonna change. And we're gonna go back and just keep doing this to each section. Turn live back on and we can see that one is changing perfectly on time. So as we go through, we can see it changing just on the right time, might need to be fixed a little bit here. Let's do that one, 72. And that's better. And if we preview it from the top, we can see our line changing over as it changes sections. So that's how we can create a progress nav bar in Webflow. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you thought this was helpful or if you have a different way that you might implement this, but otherwise I'll see you on the next one.